Once again, I want to thank Nancy for providing this photo so that um, others can uh, learn uh, after I produce this video. Um, I have here uh, the final um, fixed photo and as we learned in part one um, there was a large crack across the photo and um, that was fixed in part one of uh, this tutorial set and so you can go um, watch that video to fix to learn how to fix that crack but you'll notice there's also all these brown spots on the photo so I'm going to go back this is uh, my original where I have uh, fixed uh, the crack but there are still some brown spots on the photo uh, that we uh, need to repair and you can see here in my finished layout when I activate this uh, adjustment layer those spots go away so let's learn how to make this adjustment layer I'm going to make the photo layer the active layer I'm going to go to the create a new adjustment layer and then hue and saturation and in the hue and saturation box I'm going to go down and choose yellows because um, those are brown spots there on my photo and um, that is a, a, a shade of yellow and then what I'm going to do is watch out here on my photo and I'm going to change the lightness slider until those brown spots go away and, and just just to where they go away not all the way to the right just until where they go away and then I'm going to click OK now um, as you can see that affected the entire photo and actually um, you know this would be okay to um, leave the photo like this if you like it that way but uh, for me I like having um, that original old-time feel of the uh, original photos and um, I'm going to show you this is my finished one and you can see it has uh, the shades of the tree and it just looks more like a, um, an old-time photo than this one and so what we need to do is fix uh, this photo so that it this adjustment layer only affects the brown areas of the layout and as you may recall from some of the other tools the hue uh, tutorials the this box here is the layer mask and we can um, draw on this layer with um, our brush tool or our paint bucket tool and whatever is white on this little area um, w will apply the adjustment to that is here in this thumbnail icon whatever is black it will not be applied to so I'm going to make my foreground color black get my paint bucket tool and fill it in and you'll see how this goes back to the original photo um, with in, with including the brown spots uh, because this is now all black now that we filled it in all black with the uh, paint bucket tool now I'm going to grab my brush tool I'm going to change my foreground color to white and we're going to make sure you click right here on the mask layer to make sure it's active and we're going to simply draw with the brush on our um, photo where the brown spots are and you can see they are now magically disappearing if you look over here at the mask layer icon you can see the white that we're painting on it so I'm going to draw just wherever the there is the brown. There's some brown in the house that needed repairing. I, um, there's some brown up here at the very top of the photo. Um, actually that took out too much brown for me. I'm going to go ahead and lower the opacity on my brush make my brush a little bit larger and then draw and you can see now that that took that out just about right up there and so 
There's a little bit on his belly, a little bit of brown out here in the grass. And now you can see um, I've quickly uh, changed this um, so it still looks realistically uh, like an old photo, but I've taken out all those uh, yucky brown spots that have developed as it's been thrown in a box or wherever it's been stored over the years. And uh, um, I've made this uh, photo back into uh, the true treasure that it is. And you can see how simple that was to take those spots out. And I uh, look forward to seeing your before and afters. Please do share them right here in the forum uh, for others uh, so that we can all learn together.